All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's just for 87, and I'm going to talk about my thoughts, impressions, feelings, pros, and cons of Six Days in Fallujah. Now, I was blessed with Six Days in Fallujah. I blew the robot. A very solid content creator who does a superb job at every bit of content he does, so make sure you go show him some love for this, and I will go ahead and include the link to his channel in a comment below. But that being said, Six Days in Fallujah itself, I'm going to talk about what it does right first, and then we'll get into some of my criticisms. Without a doubt, in regards to the sounds that I experience in this game, and the lighting, this is by far the best I have ever experienced in a video game. Whether it's the VoIP speaking over the radio, speaking next to my teammates, speaking Interior indoors, gunfights exterior, gunfights in general, gunfights in rooms, the dust particle kick up from shooting your weapon system in a close quarters space, everything, muzzle flashes, I have not seen anything better. I have never been pulled into a game like this that conducts themselves like this. This is the best I've ever seen. Especially with the lighting, the transitional lighting from dark to light and everything else. I have not seen anything better. This is the best. And I believe other games will emulate this. This will be an example to follow. Very big round of applause to the dev team at Six Days in Fallujah for really trying to drive that home. That I believe you succeeded exponentially. No doubt by pulling in from the resources utilized, the people who were there, all their experiences to try to capture that essence. I believe you have succeeded in that aspect, 100%. That being said, there's a couple gripes that I have, and these are my opinions, and other people may have other gripes with this, but these are mine. If we're going to capture the immersive essence, I get it that you want to cater to all types of gamer, so you're going to have pop-up displays on the screen. Now, I haven't looked to see if I can turn these off, but I believe that completely pulls me out of it. You have this wonderful immersive environment with these immersive landscapes and these immersive soundscapes and all the niches you need to really pull you in. And then I get this damn display on the screen telling me I got V-Bits coming in and all this other bullshit. I don't, it's too cluttered. It completely yanks me out of it. It's almost at a contrast with itself. It, 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 it's almost like it contradicts everything you're trying to do. Give me the option to toggle it off, and maybe you already do. I haven't dug that deep in the options to find that out. We definitely need a lot more people to conduct these objectives. None of these objectives that you currently have in the game, and there may be plans for you to include that, I don't know. None of these are fire team size mission sets. There's no way in hell I would ever have just a fire team tackle on these objectives. Now, that might be part of the game design, or that might be included in future installments with having more people to conduct these operations. As it stands, I think the game would definitely succeed better if we included at least an actual squad size element and in its current state. So if you have plans to include more people, great. I will say you definitely captured the roles, the ready team fire assist, the fire team structure and table of organization and equipment, TO and E that you have, spot on of course. I'm glad that you decided to have the assistant automatic rifleman carry a rifle instead of just a shotgun. I saw that in earlier builds and I kind of crinkled my nose at that. I want to see it of course on the extreme end of realism because that's me, that's my content, that's the channel, that's the type of person I am. But you're also trying to appeal to a wider audience as well. I, of course, am at the far end of the spectrum. Uh, your static vehicles, and what I mean by that is the vehicles that decide to stop in that one mission need to start utilizing their weapon systems a lot more. Now, I think I saw an improvement in this. We're going to stop a damn convoy. Let's actually have them employ their weapon systems to effectiveness instead of just shooting to shoot. If we're going for immersiveness, let's make things look right. So I don't feel like it's literally a fire team against a company size element. In summary, I think if you actually went full bore into these milsim like traits, I think it would do better. I like the blood sweep mechanic. I don't like the pop-up that tells me there's a blood sweep mechanic that I need to do. I don't need to be told I'm hit. I can see the visual indicators on the screen, so I know. 
and I'm sure there's going to be someone to argue on the opposite end of that for accessibility, but they're not me. This is what I want. At the end of the day, you have a very immersive shooter with some tweaking, could be something that many other shooters in the future need to seek to emulate. But that's my thoughts and opinions, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. Thank you for hearing me out. If you like what you saw, please subscribe. If you want to get access to more content, become a YouTube member where we delve deep into the tactical space. If you'd like to buy some merchandise, I do have a merchandise store in this video description below, as well as a game store if you want to buy games from my Nexus store at nexus.gg slash justin87. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for hearing my thoughts. And have a fantastic day.